Hello everyone. Welcome to the new video. Today we will discuss in brief about adverse event of special interest. This topic is requested by one of our YouTube family member. So let's start. The terminology adverse event of special interest is mostly used in clinical trials or clinical study. The adverse event of special interest is one of the scientific and medical concern specific to the sponsor's investigational product for which ongoing monitoring and rapid communication by study investigator to the sponsor is necessary. An adverse event of special interest may require further investigation in order to characterize and understand them. Depending on the nature and severity of the adverse event of special interest, rapid communication about the adverse event of special interest by the trial sponsor to other parties like regulatory authorities may also required. In general, an adverse event of special interest is the list of predefined and clearly described events which were clearly mentioned in clinical study protocols or protocol amendments. In protocol, clear instructions should also written for investigators of clinical study as, how, and when, such adverse events of special interest should be reported to the sponsor. In simple language, an adverse event of special interest is a noteworthy event which sponsor of the study may wish to monitor carefully. Which means, sponsor have special interest in that particular event. And, sponsor of the clinical study immediately want to know if any of the clinical study subject experienced any of the event listed under adverse event of special interest section of that study protocol. Adverse event of special interest can be serious events or non-serious events depending on the clinical study. Such events could be the potential precursors for more serious medical conditions in susceptible individuals. I hope till now you have got an idea what exactly adverse event of special interest are. If clinical subject is withdrawn from study due to adverse event of special interest, the subject should be followed up by the clinical study sponsor until the adverse event of special interest disappears or the patient's condition has stabilized or until a predefined outcome mentioned in protocol is reached. Now let's discuss few common events which is most likely to be included in adverse events of special interest list of any clinical study protocol. First event is overdose of an investigational product. Investigational product is nothing but the study drug for which clinical study is conducted. Another event is suspected drug abuse or drug misuse of investigational product. Then accidental exposure to investigational product. Next is, any medication error involving investigational product, etc. Please note, not all cases of drug overdose, drug abuse or misuse, accidental exposure, and medication error should counted as adverse events of special interest. As we discussed earlier, if these events were predefined in the clinical study protocol, then only such events were considered as adverse events of special interest for that particular study. And apart from this examples, many other events also can be included in adverse events of special interest list of any clinical protocol, depending on the type of study. So, adverse events of special interest is always study specific. Let's take an example of study A and study B, where study A is oncology study and study B is cardiovascular study. So, for oncology study, adverse events of special interest might be hair loss and anemia. As these events are most commonly observed in oncology drug study. While, for cardiovascular study, adverse events of special interest might be irregular heart rate, low blood pressure, etc. So in short, what all events should be considered as adverse events of special interest is completely depends on the sponsor and type of study. And such events should be predefined in the clinical study protocol. So that's it for today. Hope you understand the concept adverse event of special interest. If you have any doubt please comment below. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video and share with friends. It will motivate me to create more such videos. Thank you.